welcome back. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to another day. Thought I'd bring you along through the day with us today. Just a busy mom day <laughs> planned. Nothing extravagant, but a lot going on. So we are going to, I thought there was a kid coming. <laughs> About to go put my makeup on. And then I'm going to share a crock pot recipe with you. That's what we're having for supper is crock pot, cube steak, and gravy. So I'm going to share that with you. I got to do some laundry today. I think we're going to go grab some lunch because tomorrow is grocery day. And that day before grocery day is always kind of the, Mom, there's nothing to eat. There's stuff to eat, but you know what I mean? So we're going to do that. We've already got a lot of our schoolwork done this morning, but we do still have to sit down and do some science. So yeah. All those things are going to be happening. That's what you can expect in this video. For right now, I'm going to go get myself ready for the day. And then we need to get that dinner in the crock pot because it's already a little, a little bit later in the morning. And it should already be in there. So let's go get ready and get our supper in the crock pot. This crock pot recipe is going to be really simple. I have never cooked cube steak in the crock pot before. I usually put a little flour on it and fry it and then make my homemade gravy, all that good stuff. But you know what? We're going to do it in the crock pot today and see how it turns out. I saw Shasta at a biting farmhouse make hers in the crock pot and it gave me some inspiration. So that's what we're going to do. I've got two packs of cube steak. This is venison cube steak that we have. And the only other things that I'm going to put in is a pack of brown gravy mix, a can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to fill this up with water also and put that in. I'm probably going to mix the water, the cream of mushroom, and the brown gravy together and then pour it on top and some salt and pepper. So let's go ahead, get it in the crock pot, and get it going so that it has time to cook. ahead and put the crock pot on low and cook this for about six hours. 
Okay, <laughs> supper's in a crock pot. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start a load of laundry before we head out to get some lunch. Oh gosh, that was a little hard. I didn't mean to, didn't mean to throw that that hard. Go ahead and start some laundry. That way, it'll be ready to swap over into the dryer whenever we get home from getting us some lunch. should also probably go put on some real shoes but aren't my slippers adorable my kids tell me that it's warm outside so we're going with sandals today it is such a beautiful day out here today This weather is so nice. A six inch tuna on Italian bread. I don't need it toasted or heated either. What on it? American cheese, spinach, onion, light mayonnaise, salt and pepper. <laughs> outside today y'all so nice we decided that we would go ahead and go to the park and walk and kids played on the playground we had a good time we're back home now the kids are working on their science stuff usually we have everything done before lunch time but it just didn't work that way today and that's fine and we enjoyed some time outside and now they're finishing up. So they're working on a, a science crossword puzzle right now. I'm going to get these clothes over into the dryer. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and start another load of clothes. Normally I try to do one load of clothes a day. And it just, if I do that and maybe occasionally do two loads, it keeps us caught up. I'm a little bit behind, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I start another load today. For now, these have gotta get over in the dryer before I can put any more in the washing machine. Oh, and by the way, supper is smelling so good. When, when we walked in the door, I was like, oh my goodness, it smells good up in here. All right, more laundry. Across. Oh wait, we skipped five, didn't we? 
Oh, we did terrestrial, buddy. We didn't do transit. We did terrestrial. Mark that one out. Five across. It says, this word means to pass over. We use this word to describe when Mercury passes between Earth and the Sun. So that's going to be this T word. See, it starts with a T, so that's transit. So we've got T, R. What's the next letter? What's after the R? A. Very good. Then your N is already there. So it's S. I. And your T is already there at the end. Awesome job. You've got one more left. Uh, no, supper's almost done. Lord have mercy, child. Y'all asking to eat cereal when supper, supper's almost done. Oh, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. All right. So, like I was just telling Easton, supper is just about ready. I went ahead and put some corn in this can cooker to steam it. The rice is done. I put some frozen broccoli in here to steam it as well. It'll be done in just a second. And y'all, this cube steak is smelling and looking so good. I'm excited about supper. And it's just about that time. About time to eat. Here's my dinner plate. And y'all, this meat is so tender. I cut some up for the kids and I didn't even need a knife. It is perfection cooked in the crock pot like that. We're going to enjoy our supper now. We are about to leave and take Audrey to basketball practice. Justin's going to be getting home a little late tonight, so me and the boys are going to take her to practice. And then when I get home, I'll still have to fold some laundry, but that's fine. I'll sit down, watch TV, or catch up on some YouTube videos and fold some laundry. So, no, no big deal. I needed the time that we spent outside today. My soul needed that sunshine. I think it's going to get cold again in the next few days, but that's okay because I enjoyed the weather we had today thank y'all so much for watching for coming along with us throughout our day today just a good old busy average mom day <laughs> hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed what are you waiting on you're pretty much part of the family now so <laughs> hit that button before you leave we'd love to have you stick around and be part of our crew and to those who are subscribed to come back and watch video after video. We love you guys so very much. We appreciate you and we'll see you next time. Bye y'all.